How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be explaining safe mode. Now, if you just click this video wanting to know how to get into safe mode, I'm gonna save you some time. So if you have an older system, just click F8 or smash it while you're booting up your system. But if you have a newer system with Windows 10 or later, you're gonna to wanna to hold shift while clicking restart then once it restarts, click on the troubleshoot option and under that go to advanced options and then from there you can start up into safe mode. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, if that did help you out, please leave a like and enjoy the rest of your day. But for the rest of us, we're gonna go a little more in depth explaining what actually safe mode is and what it does to your system. And I can basically narrow this down into two options of why you'd wanna use safe mode. And that can basically be narrowed down into one because it's all due to software issues. Now the software issues can either be just a simply bugged system or maybe it's a corrupt install that you had and you have some files in there that's not letting you do stuff the way you wanna do it normally or this could be a virus. So either way, you're gonna to wanna to boot into safe mode because what safe mode does is actually limits your computer's capability. And in this case, that's a good thing. So when you boot up into safe mode, your computer will use a different file to actually start up your computer. Normally, it uses a file called system.ini. Instead, it is going to access a file called system.cb and boot from this. This will load virtual drivers and basically give you just the bare bones stuff you need to access your files on your computer and nothing more. Pretty much anything that is not necessary to access your computer will not be loaded. And this will include all your startup programs, any kind of system applications that aren't needed, and even some drivers won't even be loaded. Even your display driver from your graphics card won't actually be used. It'll default to a VGA driver. So if this was an issue with your display, say you were booting up and stuff was getting bugged out, you don't have to worry about that because it's gonna use its own default Windows driver for your VGA display. And don't worry, you don't actually have to have a VGA display. It might just look a little weird on the screen. You might see a strange resolution and some weird colors going on, but nonetheless, you still have access to all your files. Now, after you're in, you can actually still do a lot of things. And this will mainly include uninstalling and removing stuff that is causing your system to bug out. So this could be a driver that went wrong or straight up malicious hardware on your computer that you can't seem to get rid of when you're actually in Windows. A lot of these viruses will actually block you from accessing certain tools in your computer like program uninstall because they wanna be sure that they can't be removed. But in safe mode, they don't have any of that power anymore. If you really wanted to, you could even install some antivirus software on your computer so that way on your next boot up, you are more protected. And after you've done all the changes you need, you can simply just restart your computer and it'll boot up with the initial system.ini file instead and you'll be back into your regular Windows. Now in safe mode, there are some limitations as depending on which mode you select, you may or may not have access to the internet or other certain features of your computer. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little explanation of what safe mode is and exactly how to use it and what it's used for. If you did like this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you had any questions, leave them below in the comments. Honestly, about anything computer related, I'll love to chat you guys down there. But other than that, have a great day guys and I hope to see you in the next video.